Hey everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back from the video of NHL 21 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series. Now, in the last video, we went ahead and did our thing where we uh, we did the free agency, we did the draft lottery, a uh, really good draft lottery. I think it's my best one I had for uh, for uh, for now at least. So that's pretty good in itself. We've got like two medium elite players and stuff. Uh, one of them is a goaltender, one of them is a forward. And now we uh, simulated basically all the way up to the trade deadline and uh, for the, the next season. And we, we're doing all right. I mean, we're at top of our division and stuff. Uh, we should be doing better, but I guess we don't have, like we, uh, in my opinion, we have a little bit of a weaker team than last year. And now in order to uh, upgrade my lineups and stuff, uh, we got to look into this. So I decided to put Line A with Larkin and Panarin. Lafreniere with Patrick and Kako, boys, that's going to be the new lineups. Wallstrom, Middlestat, and Fabry. That's the new lineups I decided to do, uh, basically, just to make sure. And uh, uh, Hughes is going to play with uh, Edmund, boys. So just that to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Uh, we do know that uh, basically our power play or, or I guess our penalty kill in that sense it doesn't do too well so we're gonna have to look at that and since we are at the trade deadline now it's time to take a look at who's got value maybe we can upgrade a player or something boys someone that's below the 85s uh, right so maybe we can upgrade him see what we uh, we can get um, the Fabry doesn't have anything look at that his value is all the way down holy shit all right, let's find out, I guess. Is there anybody that has some good value? I guess Truba has some decent value, but I'm not going to trade him. He's in the 85s. What about Johansson? Well, not really. Middle stat, not really. Doesn't seem like Karen and either. Nope. Yeah, I don't see anybody having really that much of a, of a big time boost or anything. We've got Martin still at 68 overall. Yeah. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything too much right here. It doesn't seem like we got anything forward-wise, goalie-wise. Do I have anybody whatsoever? Well, we do have these guys, and we got two, uh, three medium elite players, uh, goaltenders, right? So we could potentially upgrade one of our players for sure. Could do that. I mean, uh, three medium elite goaltenders. One of them could go out. Uh, I want to get it. Uh, keep Brian uh, Lake, of course, but. Uh, we could always get Poulain and uh, Onwick, so one of them can get out, boys, and we can trade him for a good asset. So maybe we, we're going to do that, I guess. Uh, what is it that uh, we have uh, that we absolutely need right now, right? I, I actually don't know. I legit don't know what we truly need. Uh, I'm guessing one that has good like option would be middle stat. We could upgrade our center position, right? We could do that, or we could literally upgrade our defensive position, upgrade uh, from Karen. And Karen ends growing, so I want to let him grow. Uh, maybe a middle stat could be a good option, boys. Then again, Johansson as well. It's either we upgrade the defense or the center position, which I'm not exactly sure uh, which one I want to be upgraded the most right here. We're just going to have to figure that one out, uh, figure out uh, what's the best option for us. So. Let's go into find players, I guess, right here. Let's go to the player search, just like that. And we're gonna do our thing just like usual. We're gonna go forwards first, of course. There we go, just search like that. And now we're gonna search by overalls. So we're gonna see if we, I can't find anybody that, that could be decent, I guess. All right, I found a player I might be looking for, boys. I think uh, it could be a very good one. Uh, this uh, Joshua Hua guy. Now, uh, he has the uh, same amount of value as a, a Turcotte, right? Uh, which is a medium elite player, right? Of course, it's medium elite. I should probably go for him, 87 overall. But the problem, in, the difference between him and Hua is, if you take a look at his defensive awareness and offensive awareness, one of them is lower than the 80s than his actual overall, which means he's not a good defensive player. Uh, he doesn't have the good stats uh, that I'm looking for, right? I, I'm not looking for a player like this. What I do want is a player that can actually play properly. And we got that in the form of Joshua Hua right here. He's got a 94 of offensive awareness and 90 of defensive awareness. It don't matter if he's, this guy's a medium elite. This guy is much better overall. He's going to just simulate better all across the board. So I want to go and try to get uh, this guy right here. Joshua, well, we're going to upgrade our center position, boys, big time right here. 
So Joshua Hua, let's see, let's find out what do you what do you, what do you want right here? Uh, do you want? I guess we're gonna have to give you like uh, the center, right? So middle stat. We're gonna have to give you middle stat right here. Uh, we could always try and give him Malkin as well, but Malkin is a really big stud. He's a he's a stud for us. Yeah, Malkin's a great player for us. So I kind of yeah I don't want to get rid of him. Uh, middle stat though, uh, he's all right. He's a really good player as well. But I I need to get rid of him. So um, just to upgrade. Uh, so I'm gonna keep if I have to keep middle stat or Malkin, I'm keeping Malkin all day. And uh, now goalie wise. We can give one of our goalies away, boys. Now, this guy potentially... Uh, I feel like Pudain is probably going to be better than uh, than Onwick, right? Who gives up the most goals right here? I think... No, I, I think Pudain is the worst one. He's the worst one of the two. So, we're going to just do that. Uh, straight up, actually. I don't not... Well, maybe I could ask for something. Uh, let me push it a little bit further. I could probably ask for, uh, for a third round. Not a second round. Or third round could be the, doing the trick. So third round and Jerry, uh, Joshua Roy for medium uh, medium league goaltender boys uh, potential and middle stats. So let's it's a it's an upgrade for today. Not gonna happen. All right. So I'm not gonna push any further. Just straight up for Joshua Roy. There it is. Not gonna push it, boys. Not gonna get any draft picks. I just want Joshua Roy in the team, and we just just like that upgraded our center position. And we got someone to compete with uh, Nolan Patrick as well for that second line position. So now that that is upgraded, we can go in there and actually fit it up a little bit. So Joshua, while you're going in there, boom, just like that. He actually fits uh, kind of, yeah, he fits everywhere. On the second, third, and fourth line, he fits. That's perfect. Uh, Nolan Patrick, he fits only in the third line. So if we were to put it in there, I mean, it'd probably be better. Let me just find out which one is better though. 94, 87. Yeah, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I think Joshua Y is a better player overall. I think he's a better player, boys. I'm not going to lie here. Yeah, I think he is. So let's just put Joshua Y with Lafreniere and Kako, boys. These three players playing together. We'll find out if uh, that's going to work out or not. Two or three playmakers together. Power forward and three snipers. That might be an intriguing one for sure. But uh, I do want to try out Joshua on the second line. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. That's fine. But uh, there it is. So that's going to be that. Uh, now, he has done a lot of... He's more of a playmaker, it seems like. But um, we need we need to, uh, to chime in up on that. And the only other thing that I could see I could upgrade is uh, like you went and stuff. I don't know if I have anything to upgrade in per se. Uh, we can take a look. Maybe there's, there is something available. So let me find out. I found two potential candidates for defense position. I could upgrade uh, literally our player uh, for uh, a Petriangelo, for example, 37 years of age though. So he's probably going to like literally retire next year. He's got only, yeah, that's his last year of contract. Uh, I'm looking at poison discipline now. I want either of them to be better. And uh, he's got a lot of good poise. Uh, well, actually, I need them both to be better. So, uh, actually, he might not be a good candidate. Yeah, he's not, he's not a good candidate. But uh, Samuel Girard, Samuel Girard is a really good one. He's uh, both better. And the discipline is all the way at 96 uh, overall, boys. So, really good discipline. I think he's gonna. He would be a great player for us. He's only in exact top six, 28 years of age, 85. He's a small upgrade from one potential, but it's a clear upgrade in terms of the simulation, boys. For the game, for the game, it's an upgrade. So I, I, I can take him for sure in exchange for Johansson, which uh, Johansson, yeah, he had a really good discipline as well, but his poise was down compared to his uh, overall. So you know. We, uh, we, did we draft him? No, we just picked him up probably from free agency. So we're just going to trade these guys up both for each other. I'm not going to even waste any time, boys. Uh, there we go. I pro yeah, I'm going to need to give him something. So, uh, almost there. I can give him like a seventh, uh, player like that. Okay. So that's not going to be em uh, enough. The Dinks guy. I don't want to give him, uh, any draft pick. So maybe a top four player. 
prospect okay so maybe two uh, top fours i guess you know just give him give him uh, a bunch of players actually uh anybody yeah just go uh, to rookie skaters let's just give him a, a good player or something maybe both there we go top six and a top four my god how does it sound there we go two little prospects uh me uh, a low top six and a low top four prospect with johnson in exchange for samuel gerard boys uh, a clear little upgrade for right now right it's just a small upgrade uh on the on that side but you're gonna see that in the long term it might help us out and this guy can still grow and remember this game you can grow your players uh any time of the day of the day so i can uh play either these guys so i'm gonna actually put uh girard in the first line boys he's a good candidate uh quitting news i want to keep him with edmund i feel like uh, girard is pretty close to use in terms of poise and discipline but uh, he's got one hop level higher, so I want to try him out like that. Or let's try him out like that, boys. So we're going to have Truba with, uh, with uh, the other guy instead. So let's find out right here of these two new addings uh, to the team, right? Joshua Roy and, I guess, in that case, Girard, which are two kind of not young players. One of them is a young player, but the other one is like a veteran, but... There's still like a lot of years left for them to play. So I think it's a clear upgrade for us. Uh, we're going to be just fine with that. Uh, that should be uh, fantastic. We're not going to make any more trades. I'm good on that part. I made every single trade I needed to do. And now it's time for me to start stimulating again. Hopefully we're going to be all right. Hopefully uh, everything's going to be good here. Uh, we are going to simulate until the draft uh, lottery. Or uh, not the draft lottery, but the trade deadline, just to see if uh, we need to make, uh, well, n not make any moves, but uh, just to see what the trades were for the trade deadline. So there's a win for first after the, basically two wins in overtime and shootout after our, our trades that have been done, boys. So I'm just going to go uh, buyer right here. Continue simming. I don't want to go into it. Let's go. Let's go into it, boys. Let's find out if there's anybody that uh, any other huge trade. I wouldn't call my trades very huge. Uh, it's nothing too serious. It's a little bit of a small upgrade. So I, I didn't really do too much of a big trade. So I'm, I'm here's a point that there's a, okay. There we go. A first round fast. I don't know who that is. Probably a big time prospect. Second and a third for Greenway and a fourth. Okay. That's it. That's what the game thinks is a good one. Okay. Interesting. Well, uh, let's find out really quick. So, uh, not signings, but player trades. Grigorenko, Yusin, Hero. Now, here's the problem. There's going to be a lot of players and names that we're not going to notice. We're not going to uh, know anymore because uh, there's a lot of new players. Colton Pereko. Uh, I, sure, I guess to Anaheim. There's a lot of players. Uh, Ackman, Engman Larson. Okay, so Anaheim's going to... is loading up on their defen uh, defense. That's interesting. Okay, Donato, I don't see anybody. Borakovsky, Bloom, Cody Glass. I don't really see anybody here that, no, not really anything interesting. And there's a lot of names though that we might not uh, remember or not notice at all because we just, we just not are not familiar with these names. We're, we are at like our seventh or eighth year as GM already uh, after all. So it makes sense. Two, four, six, eight and ten so all the way up to the edmonton oilers game we're gonna be at 70 games played boys let's find out if our record is gonna be good uh for the next 10 games after that uh the, the trades that i did uh we'll have to probably do some tweaks i i'm not sure i don't know if joshua was actually playing on the power play or whatnot i'm just hoping that the second line works uh just great just fine right for the for the three prospects playing together just really hope that it works out. So far, it looks like we got a couple of wins. Let's see. Our last 10 games, record of 6-3-1. and one, So, really good record. Larkin not producing as much. But 73 points and 72 games played. Still pretty good. We got 95 points. 93 points for the Leafs. And 103 points for the Lightning. I think 
I think uh, that struggle that we had for a while there is probably going to hurt us pretty badly. We still have a shot at the President's Trophy, but I don't think it's going to happen, boys, because the Lightning is just on fire right now. They're absolutely on fire. There's nothing stopping them. So let's find out. Is, is it working out like the second line and stuff? First line uh, is working just fine, of course. We already know that. Second line... It's good, working pretty good, actually. Yeah, the second line works pretty good. Joshua, what did he do for us in 10 games? Or 12 games, I should say. Uh, okay, 12 games played. Uh, he, uh, he had 8 points. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, I simulated uh, 2 games more than I should have. Okay. But he had 12 points played. So, pretty good, boys. Pretty good. All right. And uh, Lafreniere, he's got 46. So, he's doing really good. He's re doing really good. Uh, Capo Caco, not as many points as I would like him to have, especially since he had 92 points last year. I think he's the type of player you absolutely want to play on the first line, but when you have a, a Patrick Laine on your team, you got to play a Patrick Laine. He's, he's just better. He's just a better player. What am I supposed to do, right? Uh, 87 or 87 of poise overall. So, yeah, discipline is not there for Caco. He doesn't have any discipline. So, I got to play... Um, Line is just a better player, boys. What about um, Lafreniere compared to him? So 87 and 91. Yeah, the Lafreniere doesn't have any discipline either, boys. So you don't got to play the best player available. What about Girard, boys? What did he do for us ever since he came for us? Uh, five points in 12 games played. Pretty good. Pretty good. So these two players are doing really great. Uh, Klimbert, uh, Hughes. Yeah, Hughes and Hedman are gra doing great together. And Truba and Karenan are playing pretty good together as well. And uh, Shesterkin is doing all right, I guess. I mean, he's gonna get a, he's gonna get another forty wins uh, season. The problem uh, the problem is he's not like for a player like this, he should be doing a little bit better. He should be in the nine tens at least. But you know, that much we can do about that. Uh, let's continue the simulation. I feel like we're doing just fine. So uh, two, I guess four. Six. I, I guess we can simulate the, the the entire rest right of the season. I guess uh, because that's only there's only ten games remaining literally to the season. So let's just simulate the last ten games, boys. Find out uh, what's gonna happen here. All right. So two wins uh, in a row. A loss against Buffalo. A win against uh, Pittsburgh. There's a win against the Islanders as well. You like to see that. We gotta get as many wins as possible. Uh, and that's not gonna happen. So we're not gonna get the president's trophy. We've got a couple losses here uh, Here and there. I mean, we're getting those wins, but uh, not enough like not enough to make it to To get the actual president's trophy. I already saw the points. So uh, if we take a look at the entire uh, Teams like the league right 108 points for us. It's really good 51 wins But we there, there's just uh, the other teams. Yeah, look at that the Leafs 112 points, 111 points for the Oilers. So two teams defeated us. And look at that, the uh, the goddamn Lightning 119 points. By far the President's Trophy team right there. And the Stars at 110 points. So there's like four teams who defeated us. And uh, we had a really good season. So that's kind of crazy in itself. Uh, let's find out real quick what the stats look like for us. Uh, Patrick Laine looks like uh, to be the best player of our team this year. Uh, alongside of Larkin, I guess. He was the best scorer of our team, though. 46 uh, goals. 36 goals for Malkin. Finished up on the fourth line right there. So, 85 points for both Larkin and Laine. Laine, what did he do for us last year? He did 96 points. So, a bit of a letdown compared... Uh, in terms of productions for our players, it's a bit of a letdown compared to last year. It's definitely not 118 points, that's for sure. But still doing the trick. Just still doing pretty good. Uh, Panarin, 81 points, boys. There it is. Lafreniere, 77 points. Now, Lafreniere, yeah, it's a drop for everybody. It's basically a drop for everybody. I mean, it's fine as long as my team is winning, I guess. Joshua was 66 points in his uh, season right here. Uh, for us, he had 15 points in 22 games played in the second line, so... Uh, pretty decent, I guess. Capo Caco, 58 points. Uh, Quinty News, okay. Quinty News had a really good season, 52 points and stuff. And that's pretty much it. The rest is uh, 
Riss is pretty decent, I guess. Shesterkin at 44 wins, boys. There it is. Another big time winning uh, season for him. Uh, really good season for Murray as a backup. It's just Shesterkin struggling. So I might want to go for Murray straight up in the playoffs. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Shesterkin is kind of dangerous. We're going to try Shesterkin for one match, boys. One uh, match. And if it doesn't work out, though, we're going to have to change it up uh, real quick. Okay, so let's find out really quick. Best player, best scorer of the league was Matthews at 59 goals, 58 for Nick, uh, Nila Kainen, 58 for Kolsov. All right, and Gautreau got 55 goals. Interesting. Moses got 49. So that's uh, that's a lot of 50 goal scorers. Matthews 104 points, the best player. Mac McDavid, Eichel, Pedersen, Mata, Nick Nelikanen. Which this guy is a real stud, by the way. Medium franchise player. Like literally, like 96, 91. He's a stud ass player. The Ducks are lucky to have him. A 93 overall player. Wow. A Braden Point, Nylander, and uh, Kolsov. These are the top uh, 12, I guess. What about uh, defense? Carlson. There we go. Evan Bouchard, 60 points. Really? Okay. Madamba, McAvoy, Hamilton, Riley, Hughes. Yossi and Carlson. And uh, goalie-wise, so goalies, the most wins is Shishurkin. So Shishurkin go, got the most amount of wins during the season. Uh, the problem is he's not going to get the Vezina trophy because uh, Demko is probably going to get it. Yeah, he's got a better saving percentage. Only one la uh, one win less than uh, Shishurkin. What about Shishurkin's career, though? Uh, how much does he have uh, wins in his career? The 296, okay. I mean, 40, look at that. Look at what he's done for us, though, for our career. I mean, 45, 36, ah, kind of a dropout. But uh, that's because he got injured that year a lot, quite a lot. Uh, 50, uh, 51 wins, 45, 44. This guy gets a lot of wins for us. He's got a good team in front of him, though. So he's getting a lot of wins. It's just not like um, capitalizing on these wins. He's not really producing in terms of... Uh, uh, properly in terms of I guess Potential and stuff like that. So it is what it is. I guess we're gonna continue the simulation see who we're already gonna be up against in the first round Let's see if we're gonna get a lucky the Vancouver Canucks uh, less wins than us. So Might get lucky. I don't know. We they had a pretty decent record for the last 10 games Let's find out what type of team they have. We do know they have one of the best players the top three which is Pedersen so let's find out real quick what they have actually other than him. What did they have? So uh, Caden Paley, medium elite player, an 89 overall boys, really stud player with Pedersen and Besser. So really good first line right there. Hollander or Hoglander and uh, Borva, uh, Orvat uh, and Tracy. Uh, they don't have any, I don't know. They probably have an injury or something because that's kind of weird. That's a weird one. Uh, Miller, Hints, and uh, Leschichen, I guess. Wherever you want to pronounce it. Brad Mar Marchand, Rubida, and uh, Mackie. So they ha they don't really have any depth. They have a couple of prospects. It's like a rebuilding team that's in actually in the playoffs. They don't have any goaltenders. Oh, that Demko's injured. Okay, so Demko is injured. That's why. So the second best goaltender, or I, sh I would say the best goaltender of the season, boys, is actually injured. That's very fantastic for us. That's really good. Uh, so there's, they've got Subin in the net. I don't know if he's going to be good enough compared to our Shesterkin. Yeah, they don't have anything uh, spectacular here. I didn't look at the defense, but I don't think they have too much, boys. So we can go in right here. Now, I know for a fact that... Uh, Who's producing the most right during the season? So now we got to take the guys that get the most poise, boys. That's just how it is. This is going to be the lineups for the playoffs, boys. You got to look at poise. You got to look at the poise. That's all that matters. 96, 96, uh, 86, 86, 91. Let's put uh, Jack uh, Queen News back in there. 80, 87. Okay. All right. So let's put uh, Truba in there. Let's uh, put uh, that. That's perfect like that. What about, okay, so he's 86. What about, uh, okay, so Klimber's 86 as well. So, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. We're going to, that's going to be our new lineup. That's going to be the lineups. 
I, like I'm trusting you, Shesterkin. You gotta play well for us in the playoffs right here. You're uh, you're our only hope right here. So we could probably. Like, I'm pretty sure we can beat this team. They don't have any depth or whatever. They don't have anything. There we go. Klimbert is get, getting a goal for us. Uh, Br Brad Marchand on the power play. They're getting Brad Marchand on the power play. Power play goal on our side too, though. Patrick Liney. Another goal by Marchand. Well, Marchand, the fourth line is going to score two goals right here. What the fuck is going on here, boys? A fourth liner. Tracy. Oh, 78 play. A 78 overall player playing on the second line is going to score a goal on us. Okay, I see you. I see you, game. Whatever, man. Let's keep moving. We got a better team than them. We got a much better team than them. They don't have any goaltenders. We should be able to score at will against them. I didn't look at their defense, but I'm pretty sure they don't have that much of the defense. They have that first line. Second line might be dangerous, but after that, there's no reason as to why. Okay, Brock Besser, there we go. Okay, Matt Udonba. Okay, all right, all right. That's um, It's a blowout match, boys. We completely fucked it up. Fixture Sturkin's not doing his job. He's a complete horrible goaltender for the uh, actual playoffs, boys. Hollifson, Wallstrom scoring a goal. Patrick Liney, another goal for him. We're, we're scoring goals. So, Shishturkin, if you could please not give up another fucking goal. All right. In the regulation, at least. Just wait until we get... There we go. Panarin on the first line. They're all about poise, boys. All about the poise. Klinberg. There it is. Oh, my God. We have to literally score seven goals to ensure that win. What the fuck? Shishturkin. Okay, Shesterkin's absolutely horrible in the playoffs. I gotta tell you, boys, he's not a good uh, goalie for the playoffs. So we gotta we gotta play uh, Murray. It's as simple as that. I mean, Shesterkin's just not good. My players are doing great. Seven goals. I mean, what more can you ask? Fucking eight oh six, eight six. I'm putting Murray in there, boys. What the fuck is wrong with Shesterkin? He's gotta he's gotta get his shit together, man. All right, let's get back in there. We should be all right. We scored seven goals last night. Um, they don't have, probably don't have Dem uh, Demko again. So without Demko, they pretty did. Yeah, we can score at will. We can literally score at will. They don't have any goaltenders, boys. We got a great, uh, we got a great, some great players in there. We got that depth that can score goals. And uh, yeah, we can get past their goaltender, their defense. They don't have any, and they don't really have any uh, depth uh, centers or anything. So. Uh, we're doing uh, just fine. We're playing him a little bit. We got to be careful. But so far, Murray is seems... I don't want to jinx it. But it seems like he's doing an all right job. But uh, yeah, there we go. Truba. He's definitely doing a better job than Shishturkin. That's for sure. Murray seems like to be a better goalie for the playoffs at least than Shishturkin. Shishturkin's just not... Like you do... You, you just know Shishturkin's just struggling all across the board. Uh, Rupert Hintz is going to score a goal. Le Shishin, another goal. Ballbuster goals right there, back to back. Gotta be careful, boys. Going into the third period right here. They're getting the momentum back on their side because they scored two goals. There we go. There's a goal by Malkin on the first line, boys. This is why I have him on the first line. Da uh, Savard, uh, god damn it, getting a goal right here. They're replying head to head, boys. Lafreniere getting a goal for us. Patrick Liney, another goal for him. Lafreniere, second goal for him. There it is. See, six to seven goals is what well expected. You can score a mini goal as you want, Besser. Ain't gonna save your team. We're moving on, boys, to the second round just like that. That, uh, that was kind of a scary one. Uh, definitely gonna put some gray hair on the uh, gray hairs on the coaches uh, side. All right, so pretty good. Line is actually really do uh, good. He's doing fantastic for us so far, at least in the first round. Who are we facing in the uh, second round right here, though? Let's move on. The Boston Brooms. Oh, here we go again. So these are the guys that defeated us last year. And they went on to win the cup. So this is the def defending cup, uh, standing cup champions right here. They probably have the same team, boys. Very dangerous team. Uh, it's going to be dangerous. A really dangerous team right there. So let's find out. Jesper Bratt, Galchenyuk, Pasternak. Uh, Utala, Utala, a medium elite player. There we go. Rask and Kratsov. Loughton, Hagos, and uh, Ashton Reese, Sanford, McCann, and Bastion. They got uh, a pretty good team. Like, this is a solid team. Now, 
not as solid as last year. I'm pretty sure they downgraded a little bit right here, but it's they got these two uh, really good first line uh, first lines, Ols Olsen and McAvoy, Mackerson and Siverson. They don't have any defense. They don't have a goaltender either. So that's the thing. We gotta be able to score on these on these guys now. I'm I'm sure they've got a they got some good forwards. They they don't have that much of a depth center wise, so they don't they, they they can't really stop us. They can't really do anything against us, boys. So we should be all right. We should be just fine. Shosturkin, you're just staying put. I'm not playing you, my guy. You're you're just like you're just absolute garbage. So I'm playing Murray. He's a better option for us. So let's jump up on in for the first game against the Bruins. Hopefully we're gonna get luckier than uh, a little bit more lucky than last year. There's a goal by uh, Klimber. There we go. So, like, once again, we fight against, like, we face off against a team that doesn't have any defense and goaltending. And uh, that's just the better for us. We can score goals in that perspective. At, at last year, what happened? There we go. Malkin. There it is. There's a goal. I think last year, what happened is that they managed to shut us down with a better center core. They had a really good center core. Some uh, some all right defense, but it's kind of the same one, right? But they didn't have any goaltenders as well, so I was kind of troubling, uh, troubled by that. This year seems like we're we're doing all right, and you know what the problem is as well? Shishturkin definitely doesn't help. I think he's one of the major problems as well. I kept playing him, and I thought, you know, you know, he's he's my franchise player right now. He's my he's my goaltender that uh, we we kept for so long, right after Longvis and all. And I, I'm trusting him, but in the playoffs, it's just too hard. And you can't trust a goaltender that's doing horrible in the playoffs, especially since you only have two games. Like, it's the best of three, boys, out of three. So you got you to gotta win two games, and you're, uh, you win two games, and you're in for the next round. So simple. McAvoy got a goal for them, but uh, a very last second. So it doesn't matter. We're up on in. So see that? They're, once again, they're a pretty good defensive team, it seems like, the Bruins. But that doesn't help them enough because we are able to shut it down. Murray's a much better goaltender overall than Shishturkin. So he's doing a good job right now. He's protecting us. He's doing a really good job. All right, uh, Shishturkin, you're not playing. I mean, Murray's doing great. He's a good player for the playoffs. Good goalie. So I'm putting Murray in there. He's, doing the, he's the one who's going to give us the cup, if anything. He's definitely not going to be Shishturkin. Let's hop on in second game, boys. Can we uh, can we have some magic going right here? It's a pretty much a close game, it seems like right here. Uh, we, we don't have any advantage or whatever, so this might be uh, a really close one right here. So let's find out. Still no goals after five minutes uh, left. Let's find out right here, please. Score goal, guys. Okay, so we're going. Uh, we're finishing off the first period. No goals on each side. Still uh, zero to zero. 12 to 10 shots for us, so it's a very close game, boys. Very close game. You can tell the Boston Bruins do not want to be eliminated. Uh, they won the cup. They're def defending Stanley Cup champions, right? So they definitely want to, like, win it all. We got a power play. We can comp uh, capitalize on it. And uh, are we going to get into two periods without uh, a single goal? We sure are. Okay. All right. A great it's a great game for both goalies right here. Both goalies are doing their job. But there we go. There is uh, the defense going to be at Pierce on Boston's side. Trubas going to score a goal for us. Very good. Trubas has actually been uh, has uh, has done pretty good for us so far in the playoffs. Uh, to uh, so that's really good. Really good. He's got like three or four goals or something. So he's doing really good for us. And uh, there we go. Insurance marker for Malkin on an empty net. And that's going to be it, boys. Just like that. We're moving on to the third round. We swept them. And uh, that's perfect. So we're going to have a, a new, at least a new uh, winner for this, the cup this year. Uh, we're moving on to the third round, though. So this is our luck. We got past our demons from last year. Let's see. Third round. Who is it? Who is it going to be? The, Ma uh, the Maple Leafs. Toronto Maple Leafs, boys. All right, all right. So 53 wins. So this is a dangerous team. Definitely dangerous team. They've got the best player of the league uh, right there. The best scorer and the best player overall of the league with, in Matthews. So very dangerous. Marner, Matthews, Lelander. Very dangerous. Uh, Texier, Robertson, Mulgan. 
Bertuzzi, Tavares, uh, uh, Bjorkstrand, Melikev, Coleman, and C uh, Cody C uh, Colson Season. So an interesting lineup. Uh, you got to look at the center core, the defense at Google Tending. That's how you know uh, if you're good or not. So they've got a really good first line. So after that, it kind of falls apart. I don't know if Tavares is actually doing pretty good. So that Tavares is a, an interesting player, to say the least. He could be the, uh, a dangerous player. Uh, line, uh, Riley, Lillergan, Sindin, Murano, Don, uh, Nutivara. So they've got some decent defense uh an average defense they've got an average defense boys a, an interesting the uh, uh i guess uh center core and they've got um no goaltending yeah they don't have any goaltending once again boys no goaltending but remember look at that robin later 921 so it doesn't matter about the goaltending i mean i uh, my i myself have the same it's basically i have got the same goaltending as a Robin Laner. Uh, we've got the same one. So let's just find out. Whoever is going to get lucky right here, I guess. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Let's uh, go to the first game, boys. We get a goal. There we go. Just like that. Patrick Laner getting a goal. Uh, Samuel Girard, a shorthanded goal as well. Really good. Really good job, Girard. Really good. Yeah, I think the major difference between us and the Leafs is uh, we have that first line. We also have that second line, that third line, and that fourth line. We got that depth. You got to have that depth, boys. We got to have that team all across the board. We got a better defense and a better depth than them. We got the same goalies, though. But, yeah, I think we got a better team. Malkin's going to score a goal. Season's going to reply on the fourth line. That's fine. I mean, that's fine. We are winning right now. Oh, Season, the second goal. Really, fourth line. Fourth line here is carrying two goals, boys. It's just like Marchand on that first game uh, against the... Uh, the Vancouver Canucks right there. We got to watch out. There we go. Panarin scoring goal for us. What the hell? Takes is going to go. Is it going to be another one of those, uh, those boys? I mean, uh, obviously, they've got a good team. So they could score goals. They have the ability to score goals. But on our side as well, I mean, we are just dropping the uh, the puck on the net uh, ourselves right here. We are literally dropping the puck on the net like it ain't nothing. That shit's crazy, literally, like. We're doing so well right now. And that's going to be a win for us. Just like that. 6-3. to three. Thank you Lafrenia for giving us the uh, insurance. And we can move on to the actual uh, second game right here. So without any worries. And you know what? All this is because of uh, who did play. Who played last game though? Was it the Shishturkin? Don't know if it was Shishturkin. I think it was Shishturkin who played the la last game. Yeah. It was Shishturkin in the net boys. So that's kind of interesting. I'm going to put back Murray though because Murray's been doing fantastic for us. 948 of percentage. Shishturkin is kind of a like he gave up three goals right there. It's like I'm he had a, a need, an all right game, I guess. He had one of those good games, I guess, if you want to call it like that. But uh, yeah, I want to have Murray in there. I want to have Murray. He, he, we got the better chance with Murray in the net. That's all I'm going to say. So let's go, boys. Pretty even game so far for the second game. Power play for us. Power play goal for Karanen. Really good. There we go. There's a power play goal for us. Malkin on the first line. Malkin scoring a lot of goals for us. Marano ballbuster goal at one second left in the first period. Ooh, that's a rough run, Murray. You could have uh, prevented them from doing that. Panarin. There we go. Patrick. All right. There. We're dominating them. See... We have that depth. We got uh, really good and I uh, really good uh, lines. And I think I figured it out for uh, for the team for the playoffs. How you want to put them? You gotta put them with a the poise. Whoever's got the most poise, you gotta play him higher. You, you play him the most. Uh, I think poise is all. Of, it's all about poise for the playoffs. I think that's what the the, the hidden stats is all about. You gotta uh, whoever's got the most poise, I guess, is the better playoff performer. And uh, it shows up for the first line because first line's doing great. Panarin, Alaine, and Malkin are scoring a lot of goals for us, boys, and that uh, in this year in the playoffs. So really good. And that's going to be another sweep. We haven't lost a single game uh, so far in the playoff, which is fantastic. And we're heading off to the Stanley Cup Finals, boys. Are we going to get lucky? Uh, who are finishing? Uh, oh boy, who else but the Colorado Avalanche? 
Revenge, boys. For a third time in four years, we are facing off in the finals against the Colorado Avalanche. So this is the fourth time in a row they go into the finals. Four years in a row for, uh, for the Colorado Avalanche where they go into the Stanley Cup finals, boys. It's not a coincidence. Uh, they could have easily had four uh, cups in a row right here. They're just getting unlucky uh, uh, for the opponents they're facing, I guess. Linda Scott, Mekinen, Rentinen, really good first line. Kaprasov, Grenlund, and Duclair, really good second line. Kagula, Ertl, Wilson, all right. Kreider, Chaplik, Lavoie, they got a really good center core. Uh, this might be a dangerous one, boys. Byron, Makar. Uh, Theodore, Pulak, uh, Johansson, which we traded him uh, to them. We traded Johansson to them, boys. So he could bite us back in the ass right there. Our former player and Robertson. Okay. They got a good defense. They got a good center core. And they don't have any goalies, though. They don't have any goalies. So we'll see. Uh, and Jerry's not been doing too good for them uh, in the playoffs. So we'll see, though. But uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one, boys. Let's put Murray in there. We gotta. We need our the best chances available for us. So let's go, Murray. You're getting in there. If uh, anyone's gonna make us win the cup this year, it's gonna be you, buddy. Uh, I'm trusting you all the way. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one. They've got a really strong team. Uh, but um, here's hoping that we can beat them once again in the finals and uh, win a third cup uh, in five years, boys. Ooh, uh, there's a power play goal for Chaplik. Let's not get any uh, penalties, boys. We're getting outplayed right now, it looks like. There we go. We got a little bit of a momentum at the beginning there. There's a power play goal on our side as well, Lafreniere. So it's a, a, a special units type of game right here. We're getting the momentum back right here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Ballbuster goal for Truba. That's fantastic on our side. And this is a two former... Uh, when you think about it, there's a two former... Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, I guess, goaltenders, right? That are, are facing off against each other right here. That's very interesting as well. All right, so it looks like we are kind of uh, outplaying them a little bit. We are not dominating them, but but we are starting to dominate them a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty close game nonetheless. It's not, like, uh, it's not like a domination in my mind. I feel like we're doing all right, but... Uh, Let's shut it down, boys. Let's shut it down big time. Get that win right here. That first game. That first win. Damn it. Grenlin. We're not going to be able to do it. Grenlin's going to score a goal. Uh, Rackle. There it is. There it is on the third line. R Rackle, boys. Scoring a goal for us. Shut it down, Murray. You got it. You got this. 18 seconds. We did it. All right. Good. First. Uh, we we're on the first game, boys. Ooh, that is not going to be an easy one. Not going to be an easy one, but uh, if anybody can do it, it's uh, Murray. I trust everything. All my, uh, every uh, single uh, one of my trust is on Murray right here. He's doing so good. I mean, look at him. Look at his saving percentage, boys. What a stud. He's been a stud for us in the playoffs. Uh, if we take a look at the, play, the actual like players for the first line right here. Look at that. Look at fucking Panarin, boys. Four goals. Uh, uh, playoffs four goals 12 points Malkin five goals eight points Liney four goals 10 points that first line is a stud ass first line Lafreniere eight points seven points three points so Kako is not producing that much but he's complimenting these two these two are really doing well the playoff performers Alifson is doing all right Patrick I mean these guys are doing just fine Fabry now the there we go. Look at that. Joshua Roy is a good player in the playoffs as well. It looks like three, uh, three, three points. Quinn News six points. Look at that. I mean, and Trubas got three goals. This is a really good one. Uh, we got a really good team on our side right here. Now this time around, if I win the cup, I'm gonna make sure to actually jump on in, boys. Don't worry about it. I am gonna jump on in. I'm gonna make sure to not miss it. Uh, miss my opportunity right here. So let's jump on in, boys. Second game, we are undefeated still. We haven't lost a single game in the playoff so far. Let's get in there. Not to make, make any mistakes. Let's outplay these guys. Show them who's the boss. There we go. Wallstrom on the fourth line. 
Let's show them who's the boss, who's the best team of the two right here. Let's show them why they always fell in the finals. They always go to the finals, but they always fell, right? Then the Skog. Oh boy. All right, let's go by him. They always fell, right? There's a reason for that. Power play goal by Mekinen. Malkin's going to reply back right away. Good job, Malkin. Good job. We're starting to fall apart a little bit there. There we go. We got to get the momentum back on our side right here. Let's go. It's a bit more of a closer game, seems like. But we're getting the momentum. Goddamn, Grenlin as well. Getting a goal. He's a good player for them, though. He's been scoring a lot of goals. Lafreniere on our side, though. There it is. So Murray's having a little bit of a, of a tough time. It's one of his worst games. Uh, which is fine, but we still have the goal scoring ability on our side though, so we can still protect him if we can score like a couple more goals. Larkin, there it is, there's a goal for him, fourth goal. Uh, I'm gonna obviously stop it at five minutes, so let's go, boys. Seven minutes, six minutes, five minutes. All right, stop him, stop it. There we go, four minutes left, boys. We're winning four to three. Let's hop on in and watch our team win it all, boys. I'm ready, man. I want to win that cup once again. All right, here we are, boys. Straight in. And uh, the first line's going to be in there, actually. Is it? No, it's our third line in there. So third line's playing right now. Patrick up against uh, Robertson's line. So I think that's the fourth line for them. Let's just get it together and do not allow any goals. You can see it's Matt Murray in the net, of course. He's played fantastic for us in the playoffs. What a stud goaltender. He's been really clutch for us. That's the main reason as to why. Uh, let me see really quick. Uh, do I want to? I, I do want the first line on. Yeah, first line, first pair uh, of defense. Yeah, as you can see, this is the reason why I said earlier in the previous video, right? Uh, at the beginning of the season that I wanted to eventually maybe get rid of Shesterkin. Once uh, Brendan Like is ready to play in the league, right? I'm going to keep Murray. I'm going to simply keep Murray with our team. He's a really good player, a goalie for the for uh, the playoffs. We know he produces well in the he does well in the playoffs. So if like is not a good playoff performer, then we'll have him, right? There we go, Panarin. Get a good chance right here. Good chance. There we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, stay in there, boys. 35 seconds left. All right. You guys can go for a line change right here. Oh, don't let him in like that. Good job, uh, Tim Burt. Good job. All right, go for the second pair right here. No, 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 Tim Burt. What are you doing? Oh, what that was horrible by Tim Burt right there, and Hurdle's going to get a goal. That's all because of uh, uh, Tim Burt right there. I do not know what he did right there. What the fuck was he thinking? 17 seconds left, my guy. You're going to do a stupid ch uh, decision like that. Let's go. Second pair, second line. All right, get it. Oh, no, you, how do you mess that pass? Okay, got intercepted in front. Landis Scott, watch out for him, man. Five seconds left. Watch out, play defense. Good block shot, good block shot. It's actually Kaprasov, it's not even Landis Scott. Uh, Landis Scott is 87, that's right, I forgot. It's kind of similar numbers right here. All right, well, 36 shot each, four goals each. We're going to overtime, boys. It doesn't get any more precarious than this. Literally doesn't. So let's get in there, man. First line, first line. Larkin's going to get that face off, win that face off. There we go, uh, Kako. There we go, up to Larkin. Oh, that's actually our second line right there. Yeah, that's our second line. Lafreniere. Oh, he's going to drop that pass. He's going he's gonna to lose that puck. That's fine. That is fine, boys. All right. Win it all, boys. Win it all. You got this. You have n actually never lost a single game in the the on ice simulation. Let's do it. Let's keep it. Uh, let's keep this momentum going right here. Larkin. Oh, he messed up that pass. If that pass went through, that was going to be a goal right there. That was a goal, boys, guaranteed. All right, stop him. Then he distracts. Don't let him in like that. That's Lendeskog. Watch out. He's a dangerous player. Fuck. All right, let's go. All right, we. Uh, I'm going to keep that in there. Let's go for the third line right here. Lafreniere, do not lose the puck. Come on, man. That's the second time he loses the puck right here. Starting to fall that he's got a pressure on his hands right there. The cup is in the fucking arena, boys. Let's win it. Don't care if it's not on all ice. Let's win it, boys. Olofsson, no. Rentonen, holy shit. Murray making some great save right here. Great saves by Rentonen. Go, oh, go, go, go. Do something for Christ's sake. Klimbert. Up to Rackle. I'm going to make sure Rackle doesn't lose the puck. All right, go defense. Go defense. Go for the line change. Patrick, right there. Loses the opportunity right there. Rackle, shoot it. 
Good job, good job, good job. Patrick, up to Rocco, shoot it again. There we go. Patrick, up to Lawson, Rocco. Another shot by Rocco. Oh my god. Tristan Jerry playing on his goddamn head right now. Third defensive pair, fourth line right here. Let's go. It's all about you, Joshua Roy. Fabry, Wallstrom, do your thing, buddies. Do your thing. Prevent them. All right, be super aggressive right here. I want you to be super aggressive. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Protect them. Protect the net. Don't let him in. Don't let him in, man. Kaprasov, there we go. Wallstrom's got the puck. All right. You got it, buddy. You got it. Get the pass right there. Or maybe go, go for a shot right there. Yeah, you were going to lose the puck probably right there. So that's pretty bad. Oh, he's going to lose the puck. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, Edmund almost got it back. He almost got it back. Right? I don't think it's Edmund that should be 77. I don't know. These numbers, boys. Watch out. Murray's going to stop that. We're going to go for the first line. First pair, first line again against their second line. So Panarin, Malkin, and Liney are stud ass first line against their pretty good second line right there. Watch out. Kaprasov going to get a shot. Very dangerous player from the, the real time, uh, uh, on real time, right? So we got to watch out for him. There we go. There's Malkin right here. Shoot it. There we go. He still got that shot, boys. Gave a little bit of a, a, a tough uh, time to Jerry right there. Liney, shoot it again. There we go. I'm telling them to shoot it, boys. I'm keeping the second line in there. Third, uh, third pair, uh, second pair of defensive uh, right here. So let's go. Two minutes left into the uh, overtime as well, boys. Holy shit. All right, go, 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 boys. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, they're going to dump that shit in. They're probably going for, uh, yeah, for the line changes. So Truba, do your thing, buddy. Uh, just go straight in, pass the puck or get rid of it. Don't just, there we go. Don't just do that. Panarin. Shoot it right there. There we go. Get a good uh, opportunity right there. Oh, you're right in. Shoot it again. Go! It is, there it is, boys. Patrick Lani is going to give us our third Stanley Cup in five years. Get wrecked, fucking Colorado. Get defeated three times in a row in the goddamn Stanley Cup finals. Oh, I, oh man. I pity them. I pity them big time, but... It's all about success for us, boys. Third, we didn't win the President's Trophy, but under my record as a GM now, I have three President's Trophy and three Stanley Cup wins. Holy shit, I'm a great GM. Oh my god, and Shishterkin, he's not the guy this time around to host the cup, right? He's not, he was the guy on the bench. I gotta say, he still do, he did his part in, during the season. And Murray was just a stud-ass goaltender. I mean, Murray did so great in the playoffs. He's the... He's probably sure that our first line was a stud line, right? But if it wasn't for Murray, I mean, we wouldn't have gotten that far, boys. That Murray just did so great for us. He allowed us to go into the finals and win that cup. And we went undefeated. He ha we, haven't we haven't lost a single game. In the playoffs this year. And Panarin's gonna get the Count Smythe. He deserves it. 13 points, boys. I mean, 5 goals or 6 goals or something. This guy was really a uh, big time player of performer for us. I would say Laine and uh, and the other one. All right, Laine and a goddamn uh, Larkin and stuff like that. They all deserve it and stuff. But uh, look at that. Once again, the family pictures and Malkin before retiring, right, is at least going to be able to to get one more cup on his hands. So we we didn't we couldn't do it for uh, like Crosby and Ovechkin. We uh, weren't able to give them a cup uh, before them retiring. But at least we did it for Malkin, boys. Malkin, and uh, as we see Lafreniere right there, the first one to hold the cup for the third time in his career, is a Stanley Cup champion. Giving it to Panarin, of course. Who else, boys, deserves it? He, uh, no one else deserves it. The two left wingers, back to back, uh, taking um, taking it to each other. So he's gonna give it away to uh, Quinn Hughes. Yep, really good defenseman. By far our best defenseman, alongside of Klimbert. But this year he was our best. Uh, really stud uh, D man, boys. Uh, coming in clutch for us. Uh, him himself is a third time uh, winner as well. So, oh, I'm just so happy. What a goddamn uh, season it, it was for us, boys. And uh, 
it paid off to have a good like to have these upgrades like Joshua Roy and uh, and uh, what's his face right Girard uh, as an upgrade it paid off definitely paid off and Matt Murray what a stud goaltender god damn I can't say it enough but this guy was really like a really great goaltender for us this year now of course we got Shishturkin on the uh, on the top uh, right right there and uh, he did his part He's, uh, he was our main starter of course but our may our goalie it's all about murray for this one i'm all giving it to murray so there it is boys three cups in five years i can probably call it quits to be honest but uh i'm gonna just uh, chime on in for you guys i mean i actually legit don't know if i should continue or not i mean i'm doing so good i've got five cups in three uh, uh, i've got three cups in five years uh, three times president's trophy this team has gone a long way uh since uh last time so yeah i think uh we did everything i was supposed to do with this team uh, i managed to make the rangers like a franchise not really a franchise team but a, a team that does win the cup pretty uh like it's basically the 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 same team as a uh, blackhawks uh, as the chicago blackhawks from the 2010s right so so three cups, three President's Trophy win in uh, three years, uh, in seven years, boys. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. Seven years, uh, seven year run is pretty good, boys. I think I kind of want to continue just to see what happens. We don't have a, really any other game to play anyways, right? We do have burnout and all. And since I got uh, the Avengers going on, uh, I don't know. I still don't know if I'm going to continue that or whatnot. You guys got to chime in on that. Yeah, I think I want to continue. I don't know. I'll see you guys for the next one. Uh, next video. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy it. Keep it easy.